Hi, it's Karen at the Cool Tool Studio, and today I'm going to be showing you how I like to reconstitute my clay. For this technique, I'm going to be using a clay board, a dish, some clay mate, a mask, a mini palette knife, and an 80 mesh sifter, a roller, some cool slip, and some distilled water in a spray bottle. I'm going to start off by preparing my hands with some clay mate. You can use slick as well if you'd like. This is what I prefer, and this is just going to help me keep the clay from sticking to my fingers while I'm kind of manipulating it. For this technique, I'm also going to be wearing a mask because I'm going to be agitating the clay particles and that can make them airborne. The clay that I'm going to be working with today was bone dry, which means it was completely dry before I ground it up. You can grind it up using a mortar and pestle or a coffee grinder. I'm working with an 80 mesh sifter and that just refers to the size of the holes that are in the mesh back here. So I'm gonna get some of my clay. I'm placing it into my sifter. And then I'm just going to agitate it back and forth. And what that's going to do is allow the smaller particles to fall through while leaving the larger chunks up here in the sifter. And you can do back and forth, side to side. Some people like to use their nail on this here, but I just prefer to kind of shake it. And this might take some time. I like to do small batches at once because the more you have in here, the longer it's going to take to sift through it. And you can already see the larger particles are staying in my sifter while the really fine particles are falling through. Once I'm done sifting, the larger particles are going to go back into my mortar and pestle for an additional grinding. And then these guys are ready to be reconstituted. So I have my sifted clay here and I'm ready to add my distilled water. And I like to use a spray bottle when I'm doing this because it kind of evenly distributes the water across the surface there. And it's always much easier to add a little bit of water and add more if you need it. So I'm going to try to do this sparingly. So that was just a tiny bit, but I'm going to start stirring in anyways. I'm very cautious about adding water because if you add too much, it gets sticky fast. I'm going to keep cautiously adding water until it starts to form little balls and kind of group together. So balls are starting to form and at this point I'm actually going to take it out and start compressing it and folding in more water as needed. So I'm going to use my palette knife to scrape along the edges there and the bottom and get it ready to dump out. Before I do, I almost forgot this part and you don't want to, I'm going to apply a little bit of cool slip to my work surface. And just to dabble do ya, you don't want to have too much in there that's going to contaminate your clay. So now that it's on my work surface, I kind of use the palette knife to start kind of compressing it and folding it in. And if you find that you need more water, you can spray some in. I just like using the palette knife to really work the water in evenly and see if we're actually going to need more water. So go ahead and keep working your clay until it's smooth and even. So it's starting to come together here. 
and you can tell because it's sticking to itself and it no longer has kind of that grainy look to it. So at this point, I'm gonna to try to clear it off my knife. And then I'm gonna ball it up. And you can already tell just how smooth and even consistency this clay is. And it takes a little extra time to do that sifting, but I really think it's worth it for the quality of clay that you end up with when you reconstituted it. So, get all those little pieces. And now I'm just gonna use a clay roller to do one last round of kind of compression and evening out and inspection. fold it and this clay is actually looking pretty good you can repeat this as needed but I'm not sure I really need to do this much work with the roller I'm really happy with how this clay turned out it's a really smooth and even consistency and there are any lumps or bumps that are going to interfere with my future designs you can store this clay just like you would your other clay in a clay hydrator I hope you've enjoyed this video and that it helps you get the most out of your clay thanks for watching Visit our learning center at cooltools.us for more cool jewelry making videos. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and be sure to sign up for our email list to be the first to hear about new videos, new products, and other cool stuff from Cool Tools.